Are you looking to get into the sublimation game? So are we, and we think we found the easiest, cheapest, fastest way to get started. We converted this Epson EcoTank printer and made a whole project in less than 90 minutes, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we, and we have a new video each week. This week, we're replacing an old friend. Our sublimation printer has died. Yes, we're looking to make a new project this week. I wanted to show you some cool things that we could do with some sublimation, some cool techniques that we learned. So we pulled out our printer, got ready to start testing for this project. Kaput. It's not working. So we thought if you've been interested in sublimation and you haven't had purchased your own printer yet, I wanted to show you what I think is the easiest, most affordable way to get into the sublimation game. I'm serious, this is gonna be so easy. This little printer, we got the base model here. Uh, it's only $250, so not too expensive, and $20 worth of ink to convert it. And you can start sublimating and creating all kinds of fancy projects, and the one we're gonna show you how to do today. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We need a sublimation printer, some sublimation paper, some sublimation ink, a heat source to set the sublimation, something to put the sublimation on, and, MDF. and some laminate sheets. Some thermal, what are they, thermal laminating thermal, pouches? Yeah. Some thermal laminating pouches. And of course we'll have all the links to all of these items. You can, you can get everything here on Amazon and all the links will be down below. And that is it, right? Yeah, I think that's it. All right. <laughs> Step two, convert your printer. Actually, convert sounds like such a harsh word for what little work we're going to do to set this printer up to make it a sublimation printer. Yeah, I wouldn't even say convert. It's definitely just set it up as a sublimation printer. Yeah, brand new, right out of the box. We're just gonna open it up. I'm gonna open it up. Now they give us ink with the printer, but we don't need this ink. We just need the caps, I think. I see a lot of people just dumping this ink out into cups and then pouring the sublimation ink into these bottles to fill it up. And I'm gonna try to skip that step. Cause the purpose of this bottle, it does have a special cap so that you can't put the wrong ink into the wrong, um, what is it? Container? Ink well. Well, yeah. <laughs> so Pouch, tank. Tank, yes, tank is what it is. <laughs> so, you, so there's special caps so that you can't put the wrong ink into the wrong Each tank. Each one has like a special key so that it fits. But that's all that you need is the key so that you can press it down. So what we out. think we're gonna do, yes, <laughs> is take the lid off. Take the lid off of our sublimation. Well, you gotta remove the little oh. Jim Jam here. Pro tip, wear gloves. This stuff does stay in and it'll stay there for a couple of days. All right, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna pop open the top of the tank. We're gonna see if our little key fits in there. Does the key fit? And the key fits. So it has no ink in the tanks yet. We're just, instead of putting printer ink, we're going to put the sublimation ink. All right, let's see if this works. Now I'm just gonna take this tip, put it in there, and dump the ink in. Now it doesn't fit. Let's see if I can squeeze it. Is it filling up? I think it's filling up. You want me to tilt it towards you? Oh no, it's filling up. Yeah, yeah, we're good. I'm just gonna keep squeezing it in the top a little bit. Well, it looks like it'll fill up whatever this giant bottle is, so the tank must be large for black. Let me save that last little drip. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Well, I would have wiped it out. 
What's the difference between me and you, kid? <laughs> Button three, three. for three seconds. And then I say start. When the message to start initialization appears on the LCD screen, press the start button uh -huh. to start charging the ink. Ink charging takes approximately 10 minutes. A message appears when ink charging is complete. We followed the instructions on the getting started card, which led us to this website, and then we just followed all of the prompts. Step three, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna bring this quarter inch MDF over to the Glowforge and cut it out while the printer is doing its thing. I already painted these white earlier, so I'm just gonna mask it off, throw it in the Glowforge, and cut out our design. And if you don't have a Glowforge and you can't cut this yourself, we are offering this as a new kit in our store. It's part of the reason why we're making this project. We're gonna do it for the July theme, but I think you could do other themes to go with it as well. And now we're gonna sublimate. We're just gonna use this A-sub sublimation paper. We're gonna throw it in the printer we just set up. And we're gonna head over to the computer and print out our images. Remember, mirror your images. Now ours don't really need to be mirrored. We're gonna use a pattern. But if you wanna use something that you'll be able to tell if it's front or back or reversed or forward. Writing, yeah, if it's got writing on it, you definitely want definitely to mirror, it. mirror your image. Okay, everything's printed, everything is cut. Now it's time to actually sublimate on our MDF. Now this is where our trick comes in. So if you're new to sublimation, sublimation works on anything with a polyester coating. So you can purchase lots of things with a polyester coating. You can have t-shirts, you can have- Mugs, we have, Yeah, plaques. mugs. We have this little pouch here that you can sublimate on. I mean, they make like, all kinds of sublimation blanks. That's what you're looking for, sublimation blanks. Yes. Well, we couldn't find sublimation blanks in the shape of the letters that we wanted and in the size. So we're gonna make our own right now using some laminate sheets. So this is our little hack for this one. So we're gonna use regular old MDF letters. There is no polyester on them. Uh, we did show you a trick with uh, the dry erase? Yeah, the dry erase or the melamine. But we heard a lot of people can't find the dry erase or the melamine. So if you can't, here's another trick we learned and I thought it would be a really cool tip to show you guys. It's these laminating pouches. I guess you can get sheets, but it was a lot easier to find the pouches. And we're just gonna rip it in half. So what we're going to do is we're going to laminate or heat transfer these lamination pouches, or these sheets now, onto the letters, and that's gonna give it the coating that will allow the sublimation ink to take. So the first thing we're gonna do is heat transfer this paper onto this letter. Uh, do you want our little pad? Yeah, we need some butcher paper so that it won't stick to the heating source or our heat press, and it won't stick to our, our mat. We're going to stick a piece of butcher paper down, the shiny side up, stick our laminate down, and then another piece of butcher paper, shiny side down. Now we're just going to press it for 60 seconds at 385 degrees. And uh, like a little bit of pressure. Ooh, 
that's hot. And stuck. Alright, we'll set that over there for now. We'll trim that out in a second. We'll just do all of the letters right now. So I got a W. We're gonna use printer paper so we don't use up a whole bunch of uh, picture paper. Last one. Look, they look all vacuum packed. This thing will stay fresh forever. <laughs> Now it's time to unseal our letters. Just trim them out. We need some kind of mat so we don't mess up our very clean table. We're just gonna run around the edge with the razor blade. Just keep it tight. trimmed up they have that uh, uh what is it laminating sheets on them yeah they have the laminating sheets on them i don't know if you guys can see my corner it's a little peeled up right there just a little bit not even worried about it <laughs> i'm gonna hit it with the heat again when we go to sublimate it so we're gonna go and sublimate it i think it's time i think it's time Alright, back to sublimation. Alright, put your paper down. Letter down. We're gonna start with W. Uh -huh. Alright, W's getting this, like this. Uh oh. oh. Mm. W getting this. I guess it's gonna have to. Um, I wanted stars on top, stripes on the bottom, but it's too wide, wide for for it to be vertical so i'm going to make it yeah so it hangs off a little, a little bit wide so we're just going to turn it sideways it'll work i it'll think it'll fine. work kim it'll be fine i'm going to go stars heavy though right quick tip hit your sublimation piece your blank with a little bit of, with a little bit of easy tack and then you don't have to really worry about the I can actually hit it. Because if your sublimation paper moves at all with the heat source on it, it'll have a ghosting effect. Yes. So you don't, you definitely do not want that. No, you're, no, no. Oh, yeah, what was I doing? This way, yeah. Yes. We're going to mess it up before we yeah. get it started. See, now I shouldn't have any ghosting. See how everything moves with it? Should be good to go. I'm going back in 385 for 60 more seconds. Uh, okay. Oh, do I need another butcher piece? Yes, I do. Oops. Sorry, wasn't paying attention. Butcher piece. 60 seconds, 385. Go. All right, let's see how it did. Ooh. Whoa, look at that. That came out a lot better than I thought. I missed the corner though. All right, yeah, give it a second. Give that? it a second. I'll, gonna, I'll stick this over here. So we picked this particular pattern because it is it has a wood grain in it and it's shiplap, so it should really show you what sublimation can do. Yeah, it's, there's no way I'd be able to paint this kind of detail. Yep, I think that's the L. Do I need to get a different piece of butcher paper, you think? Nah, that's just waste anyway. Mm. Oh, spray tack. You just need a tiny little squirt. Get the paper. I think Three eighty five, sixty seconds. Ooh, 
Wow, you can really see the wood grain in that one. Oh, it came out tight. Yeah, give it a little air, give it a little, yeah. Step five. And now we paint. <laughs> We're gonna paint all of the MDF pieces that didn't get sublimated on. So, not painting, painting. <laughs> We're gonna use our country chic paint because uh, that stuff goes on with one coat. Yes, and the great thing about this is if you want to try this country chic paint, you know, you can get them in our store. But what I was going to share is that they come in this cute little medium starter kit. We have these in our store and happen to have this red, white, and blue color palette. So this is like the perfect, perfect. project to start with. P paint the town red, starstruck blue, and simplicity, simplicity white. So they all come in one little box kit. So and a little sponge and everything. Perfect starter palette. I think the gold looks fine. Okay, so we're going to make this a door hanger. If you can kind of see here, I've got these vertical and they're going to hang vertically. They could go on a front porch welcome sign, a vertical welcome sign oh, with yeah. the two pickets. But for this one, I wanted it to, because we were sublimating on them and I'm not really sure how this will handle outside, I thought I could do this on a ribbon, mount them to a ribbon, and then hang them indoors. And so I chose this ribbon here, which is great. And can you see it's got the red, white, and blue stars on it and it's burlap. And so I think it works perfectly with a the theme. But what I think doesn't work is I chose the gold letters thinking I would give this a pop, but now I think the gold letters look too muted. I should have just stuck with the simplicity from the kit that I mentioned earlier, but I didn't. I was going to mix it up. So now I'm going to go back and paint them white so that it really makes, it really matches and makes the white in this ribbon pop. So let me do that real quick. Step six, and now we assemble it. We're just gonna uh, glue down the little letters to the stars, and then we're gonna glue the, all of the letters and the stars to the ribbon, right? Yep. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna use this Gorilla Glue gel to glue the letters to the stars, and then we're gonna hot glue, ooh, that's hot, hot glue the stars to the ribbon. And All right. letters. And actually, I wanted to share with you, so he has this Gorilla Glue, but on one of the groups out there, I found the recommendation of using this Star Bond. Um, it is this, it's like a super glue, and we've been using this a lot with our MDF, oh, yeah. so I recommend this Star Bond multi-purpose medium. I enjoy that stuff too. I just like the, the gelness of this glue. Well, that's interesting because I just ordered Star Bond Thick. Oh, so is it, it comes it jelly? Out. Yes. Mm. So I haven't tried it yet, but it's on its way. So we'll try it then. Let you know how that works out. All right, now I'll come through with a staple. Do you know how big these staples are? I do not. Me, me either. They, they won't go all the way through. Okay. All right, we ready to lift this thing? Let's do it. Oh, that thing is uh, pretty tall. Pretty tall. <laughs> you gonna throw a bow on there? Yes. So I already made myself a little coordinating bow. I'm just gonna put that right here. Can you, nope, nope, face no. it the other way. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right in. Maybe I need to lay, maybe we should lay it down for me to do that. <laughs> What'd you guys think? Super easy, right? What was that, like 90 minutes? We set up the printer, 
sublimated on something we weren't supposed to sublimate on <laughs> and created a whole project. 90 minutes, not bad at all. So what'd you think about the conversion of this EcoTank Epson printer? I wouldn't call it a conversion, would you? It was super easy and then with Garrett's little trick of just taking off the cap and squirting the water, the water, the, water. the sublimation <laughs> ink right down in there, there's nothing to it, really. You just set it up and it's a, it's a new sublimation printer. 250 bucks, super affordable to super get into affordable. the sublimation game. You can find this sublimation paper like anywhere. I think Walmart carries it. Staples definitely carries it. Office Depot. The laminating sheets, again, you can find these anywhere. Office Depot, Staples, Amazon, Walmart. You can find everything you need locally or on Amazon. We'll put the links to everything we used down below. And then, of course, we had, our, which I don't have over here, just a little reminder, our Country Chic paints. If you wanted to get the starter set, this is a great one to start with, this red, white, and blue, so. And if you don't have a Glow Forge and enjoyed this kit, head over to the store, pick yourself up one, throw some sublimation on it, show us what you got. But wait, one last thing. I just want to remind you, don't forget to enter into our 60,000 subscriber giveaway. The link will be down below. We're giving away our own pocket saw and brad nailer. So. And who doesn't want pocket and their very own brad? <laughs> I mean, what? Imagine the things you could do with it. Like everything that we do, you could do with those tools. I will so, see you next week. Now we're really out of time. So if I'm not going to see you over on Patreon for the after show, I guess I'll have to see you next week. And I really don't have much to balance. I'm not balancing the new printer. <laughs> so, uh, this piece of cardboard right here. Yeah, that's kind of boring, huh? <laughs>